The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, one half of the 2022 OVW Nightmare Cup Champions, accompanied by his partner, Truth Magnum. One half of the Outrunners, Turbo Boy. W. Brian Kinnison, Dan TJ, and Josh Ashcraft brings out for all the action. And guys, Turbo Boy kicking off with Truth Magnum and what looks like to be a Michael Jackson jacket, which makes sense because their story at No Rest for the Weekend was an absolute thriller. Hey, I thought you guys were going to say it was bad. I'm what? glad you didn't. No, they fought through multiple teams and they got over to be heavyweight championship match. And his opponent from Cedarburg, Wisconsin, the Penny Pack Kid, Cal. Now, folks, despite the two great theme songs you're hearing right now, you're not at a rave. This is OVW Live. We're kicking off Cal Hero versus Turbo Boy. More fallout. No rest for the wicked. Now, these guys were on opposite sides of the ring of the No Rest for the Wicked tournament. You can say, guys, that the Outrunners cheated to eliminate Cal Hero and Dines. I, I feel like we time traveled, and we might be in a bit of an 80s flashback here. I feel like we got a, a Bill Watts versus Junkyard Dog kind of situation reinvented here. What? All I know is somebody's about to go wham because this is the opening matchup for this hour of OVW TV. Cal Hero, Turbo Floyd, two of the best in the sport going one on one for the first time here. Ooh, Cal Hero working that arm of the powerhouse of the outrunner, Turbo Floyd, who just days ago faced cash flow for the OVW Heavyweight Championship oh, after becoming the 2022 OVW Nightmare Cup winner. What? Turbo Floyd into the ropes, referee forcing the break there. You, you can hear it. Listen to the OVW faithful. They do not like Turbo. Turbo Flux, they're saying, is what they got inside their Lamborghinis, makes them go faster. Turbo kicking the midsection there of Cal Hero. And again, the strength of, you might not notice because Turbo's a little flamboyant, a little wacky, but just so powerful, so strong. Irish up into the corner and just charges in, shoulder right to the midsection. Trying to trying to drive all the way through that fanny pack Cal Hero's got on. Again, just Randall Floyd, just so powerful, just so strong, driving that shoulder all the way back to Wisconsin through Cal Hero. Guys, you have to assume that fanny pack loaded. You know he's got all kinds of weaponry in there. You see him backstage with his chapsticks. What was that word? Weaponry. There I got go. there. Here we go. Right. Randall Floyd. Oh, Turbo trying to get there, but Cal Hero gets out of harm's way. Turbo misses the elbow. And look, you see Truth Magnum on the outside just running his mouth nonstop in the face of Cal Hero. Outrunners never short on support for one another, although they did it a face off one on one, so to speak, at no rest for the wicked. After winning the Nightmare Cup tournament and the turbo going on to face Castle later that evening. And Truth wound up with a shattered nose that night. Let's not overlook that. All right. Turbo and being a little too flamboyant and caused a, had a miscommunication. And, but it's okay now. Now hey, you got when, you're, when you're the two toughest hombres on planet Earth, these things are going to happen. But right now, Turbo Floyd, big chip on his shoulder after not picking up the WWE Heavyweight Championship in there. Wanted to take out some frustration on Cal Hero, but Cal Hero want, got something to prove of his own after that no rush for the wicked loss to the Outrunners. A stalemate here between the Fanny Pack Kid and Turbo Floyd. Stalemate over. Big scoop and a slam out of Cal Hero. Cal Hero showing that deceptive strength. Now, Cal, in the best shape of his young career, guys, has really been hitting the gym and hitting the gym hard. No, oh, now oh, hitting Turbo Floyd. That hard. is unfair. Turbo Floyd was taking a well deserved break on the outside of the ring. Yeah, it just got a single foot drop kick right to the face. You see Cal Hero staying on the attack, not letting Turbo have a second to breathe. Hang on, hang on. Watch out for Truth Magnum here. Got a handful of boot there, did Magnum. And Oh, he's got a handful of hair. Handful look of hair. That. Look at Truth. Truth still got that broken nose. Cal Hero looking to exasperate that, but oh! Turbo Floyd capitalizing off the distraction. That bully Cal Hero. Truth Magnum just trying to help him in the ring and get this thing moving along because they got places to be. It's the first page oh, of the shut up. This is Outrunner's MO. They use the numbers game to their advantage. They jump people when their backs turn. First, what? if not second, rule book of the Outrunner playbook distract the referee and take the advantage while the referee is distracted. Turbo Floyd now on the attack, looking to take out a wounded Cal Hero. Cal Hero now, ooh, shot to the face. 
Cowhill trying to fight back into this after the interference from Truth Magnum. Right hands connecting from Cal Hero. You guys, you gotta, you gotta think Turbo Floyd may not be going into this 100% after going through three matches and then a heavyweight championship match against Cash Flow this past week at Saturday at No Rest for the Wicked. Well, the Outrunners definitely had their work cut out for them, put their time in Saturday night. Unfortunately, they, they managed to walk away Nightmare Cup champions, but didn't bring home any actual OVW championship gold that night. You're right. You got a cup and Cover. bragging rights, but no championship to speak of. And again, that fact has not left Turbo Floyd since Saturday. You got to think, coming here some extra aggression to take out on young Fanny Pack. Well, yeah. You got to think about it like this, too. Turbo had something to prove. Yeah, Truth got his broken nose in that match, but he pulled out the victory. He should have faced cash flow. Unfortunately, the paramedics wouldn't allow us to, to have him come back out. So he gave Turbo that opportunity, and Turbo couldn't get the job done. You're absolutely right. And you know what? Again, you got to at least say Turbo was not 100%. Some hard-fought battles going into that fight with Cashflow. And now we know that the Outrunners are thick as thieves, the two of them. But you got to wonder, deep down, is Truth Magnum disappointed that Turbo wasn't able to get the job done this past Saturday? You also got to ask, ooh, oh. all of us Outrunners have been champion had Turbo won. Oh, hold on, Cal Hero finding a way to get the advantage here, turning this back around. We would have. Fanny Pack Kid coming alive. Cal charges in, goes to that monkey for a minute. Look at that. Look at Truth oh. Magnum holding on to the weight belt. Here it's a Saturday night, second. guys. Dimes out, Dimes out here to thwart it, even up the odds. They tried the last. That's how they got over Saturday. That's how they beat Cal and Dimes on Saturday. This time, Dimes out there to stop Dimes, it. Dimes, that bully, that eight footer just smashing in the nose again of Truth Magnum, that is terribly well, unfair. You know he saw they were trying to cheat, he thought that stunk. Hang on, look at oh, this, look on. at this, Cal. Cal gets a surprise win. Here's your winner, the Fanny Pack Kid, Cal Hero. Turbo Cal Hero, go ahead. Cal Hero pulling out the victory here tonight against That's Turbo Floyd. They're celebrating up in Waukesha. Top to bottom coming tonight. You're absolutely right. In our main event tonight, we've got the king of the juice himself, Luscious Lawrence, going up against the king of the Bahamas, Omar Amir. But that's not all. That is not all. We are going to see TW3 in action tonight against the returning Star Rider. He's already told me I was gonna get Molly Wap Fox. Star Rider is back, but you know what? We've got so much more action to get through, so let's go ahead and go to the break so we can get right back to more OVW action. Just Tony Gunn can stoop any lower. Ha! He shoots out of the bottom of a rain gutter. Lo and behold, he's still there. He's like a cockroach. You can't get rid of him. One of those turds that are just circling the ball and won't go down. But, guys, he got way too close to me last week. Way too close for comfort, and that's why you three are here. You're gonna jump out in front of a bus for me if you need to. You're gonna stop a train! Dare I say it, you could take a gun. Jesse, you got us bodyguards? This is awesome! It! I got me bodyguards, and you are part of this. This is a team effort. No hold bar. You four can do whatever you want to Tony Gunn to stop him from getting to me. I don't want him within 50 yards. I don't want him within 100 yards of me. Yeah, but there's three of them. I can take one, you could have two, we could split up, and that way Tony Good would never get to us. No. Everybody is for me. Not within 100 yards of me. Stay with me. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh. Like free refills. <sighs> we get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com It's free!
And now, the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. Alice looking hang to on, do it again. Oh, again. Oh, second backdrop driver. Voldner likes his freaking laundry. The doing it again? No, 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 not a third one. Oh, my God. And now we get some medical staff out here and some producers to check on it. Hang on, Ryan Von Ryan, Rocket out here. Yeah, Ryan Von Rocket out, Doug Basham. That was the OVW Money Move of the Week, sponsored by Gary C. Johnson. We go for the money, all of the money. that I have had to overcome these past weeks and months. I had to overcome crooked management, crooked ownership, referees throwing themselves in front of my punches and getting me suspended, and of course being stripped of the Kentucky Heavyweight Championship. Travesty. Bit of revisionist history there. But as we see, all is right in Ohio Valley Wrestling once again. However, one thing OVW didn't account for is that I've been around a long time and I know the tricks of the trade and the veteran always has an ace up his sleeve. So I need to thank that ace right now. He's a man who trained me, mentored me, taught me everything that I know. He celebrated my victories and mourned my losses with me. He was the best man at my wedding. He will be the godfather to my future children. And he was right there crying with me at my late mother's funeral. But when it comes to Ohio Valley Wrestling, he is the man that colluded with me to ensure that I walked out of No Rest for the Wicked, Kentucky Heavyweight Champion. So please, put your hands together as I thank my friend and my brother, Lyle Douglas Basham. What? what? Lyle Douglas Basham, are you kidding? I knew this who he was talking about, it's obvious. Doug and Jack both been in the game for a long time, but you think Douglas helped Jack Vaughn. He's the best man at his wedding. Yeah, I didn't know that. I mean, I knew they were great friends. Oh, come on. I think you're both out of your mind if you believe this. That, that, that can't be true. Greater things have happened at Davis Arena, but that's just insane. Doesn't look like they're on the same page here. First of all, Jack, I never knew who you were until you stepped foot into the Davis Arena one year ago on your debut. And I think it was a loss at that. And second of all, I would not be the best man of any man's wedding or the godfather of anybody's child that had a mustache like yours. 
Doug, come on, come on. They all saw it. The people watching, no rest for the wicked, saw it. Blatant right hand to Ryan Howe. You don't have to keep doing this act. There was no collusion. Do you know what? Can't stop the rock. Good. We can get some explanation here now. Ryan Howe, Ryan Von Rocket, sorry, might have a few words to say himself here about what happened this past Saturday. Short of guitar after what happened last week with Alice Crowley. But Ryan Von Rocket got so much on his mind right now. Don't you even try to make excuses. As much as I try to enjoy the roller coaster that is life, I've had a pretty bad week. Thanks to you and you. Now you tell me. It's been bad enough, and now I find out you two in cahoots. So riddle me this, Doug Basham. How long has this been in the works? Need a potato me in the face. You tell me. Was this an elaborate plan? Of the, is this a place wasn't enough of the circus already? Now it's a zoo with a team of giraffes and a rhinoceros. <laughs> trying to stop the rock. Tell Doug, tell. Ryan, there was no collusion. I had nothing to do with this. It was There's no conviction in your voice, I don't believe you. And I'm not finished with you, sunshine. That title does not distract from your bald spot, your long neck, and your hideous looks. Ryan Von Rocket's So you tell me, months. I said before this night, I said, I'm out of my mind, I had nothing to lose, and now I'm a man with nothing to lose and a score to settle. So you tell me, which one of you is first? Ryan, Ryan. You tell me, tell me. You is it gonna right be you? To, you have every right to be or upset. You. you have every right to be upset. And I want to apologize for the way that things ended because this fist had a one-way ticket to mustache bill. You put that down, I'm having flashbacks. I want to officially apologize for the way that happened, Ryan, but I had nothing to do How many to times do did you rehearse making that fist? How many times did you and you role play in your black and white referee shirt pretending it was me? Ryan, how many times? This man is lying. He's not telling the truth. Hey, 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 Doug, you're putting on an Oscar-worthy performance, so I commend you for Shut to the your bit. mouth, giraffe! If you're gonna tell me this and I must believe you, I need some kind of proof. And if you don't have any proof that I don't see, then I'm ready to take both of you out right now. So which one will it be? You? Will it be you? I'm not happy about this, Doug. I'll tell you what. You want proof? Doug, if you're not going to let this bit go, then tell you what. Next Thursday night, I'm going to give you till then to admit it, Doug. Next Thursday night, if Doug doesn't want to come clean, then I will give irrefutable evidence that this man is my brother. You bring your proof. Evidence. You do it. Brian Von Rocket is You don't, I'll knock that mustache off your face and I'll break that fist so I can't hit anyone else. Do you understand? Von Rocket losing what marbles he had left. A veteran promise and proof. And we're left with more questions than answers. What the hell is happening? Well, Doug is still pleading. You don't have to launch a nuke to see the fallout from this. It's not over yet. I stopped her, me, the hero, Jake, Cloyd, I did it. She was gonna cheat, I stopped her. Listen, I don't have time for this right now, okay? You're an OBW official, I need you to start acting like one. There's so much chaos going on. People are trying to kill each other around here. I'm trying to keep the chaos under control. I don't have time to worry about you and what you think and how you feel. I don't have time for it. I might be an official, but she's officially stupid and officially dumb and officially bad. She's a terrible person. Listen, your shirt's inside out for crying out loud. Get it together. What have you gotten yourself into, Jake? When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow. 
the birthplace of legends including Batista, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Apply now for our upcoming semester in the first quarter of 2022. Visit ovwacademy.com and apply now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Green Bay, Wisconsin, the 80s baby. Product of the Hero Wrestling Compound up in Wisconsin, guys. And you got to thank Papa Dave Happy watching one of his kids come out here and make his name for himself here at OVW. TW3, the crowd favorite. I, I, I don't feel comfortable calling a guy Papa Dave. Star Rider kicking it off, and guys, I cannot wait for this matchup. We've been waiting for Star Rider to return for a while, and tw 3 has been tearing up the rankings, so I can't think of a better matchup for Star Rider to come back to. Star Rider insisting that he comes back in against top-notch competition, and right now he has got it in TW3, the 80s baby. And Josh Wood oh, wow. beautiful drop kick from Star Rider. Pinpoint to the tip of the jaw. Hurricane Rider, their star rider, has not missed a step, not a speck of ring rust on this guy. Oh, God. Hesitation ends a gurry to the side of the head. And Josh, yeah, the TW3 realized the opportunity in front of him there against a guy. Ooh, the caliber of star rider. Here we go. Cover. And One. star rider, former Russian Division champion multiple times. TW3 in there could really get an opportunity at the Russian Division Championship by beating a returning star rider. Yes. Let me answer your question now. Absolutely, this will be huge for TW3 to get a win over Star Rider. Roll up here. Only gets, doesn't even get a one count off of that. Who's Star Rider coming in, chip on his shoulder from when he left, losing that Rush Division Championship, but those educated feet of TW3, they don't care about your feelings. Oh, <laughs> just runs through with, it looked like just a running right hand to the face. You gotta think, of course, Star Rider wanting to come in and take the greatest competition there is, but how bad would he feel if on his first match back, he oh takes, my God! <laughs> takes an L, and he may very well do that. TW3 taking to the skies and taking out Star Rider. TW3, a newcomer here at OVW, relatively. Star Rider has no idea what he's getting into with the 80s, baby. So you got to think that might give the 80s, baby, a little bit of an advantage here. That's the thing. The last time that we saw Star Rider in an OVW ring, we were seeing some things out of him we had never expected. His battles with Luke Curtis, his battles with Isaiah. He's pulled out all kinds of new tricks last time. Let's see what he's got now. Star Rider up and over. Oh my God, welcome back to OVW Star Rider. Huge no-handed plancha wiping out TW3 on the floor. Just soaring through the constellations to take out TW3. And Steve, TW3 is gonna have to step on the gas if he wants to take out a Star Rider. I don't, man, I don't think he's to... got the legs to step on the gas or do anything. Right now, Star Rider in firm control and Star Rider not one to play to the crowd, not one. As I say that, he plays to the crowd. What do I know? Never mind, I'm just gonna. Plays to the crowd, no, he's reminding everyone that he's the star of the show, and we may be seeing a little bit of that attitude that we saw in Star Rider the last time he was here. Oh, beautiful sling blade from Star Rider. I think he's supposed to some stardust pop out of TW3 on that one. Star thinks he has it here. Two count. Guys, Star Rider is a decorated former champion. He's also one of the most aggressive competitors we've seen over the last year. And you're seeing him, he's bringing that aggression back, and you got to think that Rush Mission Championship is first and foremost on his mind. Well, that's exactly what Star Rider wants. That's what he's back for, what he thinks belongs to him. That's the OVW Rush Division Championship. 
And if he has to run through T-Dub and everybody else in the division before he can get his hands on it, he will. Well, with Luke Curtis having these quote unquote certified open challenges, it's only a matter of time before Starrider takes advantage of those. Oh God, he's looking at me. But right now, taking advantage of TW3. He's gonna molly wobble. I know he's, oh God. TW3 gets out of the way. Starrider taking a little bit too much time intimidating the commentary table. Ooh. His eyes off the prize for just a hot second. TW3 now trying to get a little bit of momentum rolling behind him. Plants him so deep there, we almost got a Star Rider tree growing in the middle of the ring. And TW3 looking to capitalize here. Oh! Huge Meteora out of TW3 takes down Star Rider. There we go. Beautiful double knees there. Calls that one the throwback. He might be looking for that big, as you like to call it, Josh. It's that rewind kick. Oh! Star Rider able to block him at the pass. Oh, takes him off his feet. It's a drop kick short to the ribs. Didn't get all of it, but it was enough to knock down TW3. And that's the thing with Star Rider. Oh, God, oh. it's not all beautiful. He just throws his body at you and takes you down. TW3 is reeling. Star Rider taking advantage of it, going to the top rope. Wait a second. Star Rider going up to the top here. Star he told us to be on the lookout for a falling star today, folks. Is this what he was referring to? Oh, my. Double stop right to the ribs. Puts down TW3. That's it. Here's your winner, Star Rider. Like a meteor crashing into the chest of TW3. Star Rider returns to Davis Arena and picks up a big win. And you got to think, Star Rider blasting off back towards his Western District Championship. To be completely honest, we don't need to play defense. We need to play offense. You guys should pro probably rob something a little bit more athletic wear, maybe some Under Armour, something to move around a little bit better in. You know what? I'm not trying to tell you how to do your jobs because you get paid the big bucks. But think of it this way. We got to get in line, and we're going to head Got ours! You know what? Staying here probably isn't the best idea. It's kind of like in football. You got to call an audible. Maybe we should get going anyways. How's that sound, boys? Uh, Adam, you care to uh, get in the back of the line? Everybody no. else? File no, I'm not getting the back of the line. I I've seen Animal Planet. I I'm going to the front. You're going to go to the yeah, front? Yeah, I'm going to the you front. You know what? That's a great idea, because in case Gun's inside the first room, he can actually take you out first. That's a great idea. So go ahead, go well, ahead, go like ahead. Like sort go of ahead, the front. Go ahead. Yep, go ahead, go ahead. Second yep. And then go ahead, yep. And you protect me, and I'll follow you, and this good job, guys. I was driving home from practice, about to be a free agent, hopefully signing another multi-year deal in the NBA. And I remember seeing this car coming right towards me and a huge, loud noise. I knew with my injuries that I wasn't gonna be able to play. Instead, I'm in the hospital looking at all these permanent injuries that I suffered. Having my career cut short by a drunk driver was the worst part of my life. And I never thought I'd retire at 31 years old. I knew if there was, you know, one firm to get me justice and to get me compensated for that, it was going to be Morgan & Morgan. It's crazy because basketball was always there for me. When something like this happened, they weren't, and Morgan & Morgan was. Morgan & Morgan has definitely really helped me in the toughest, darkest moments of my life. Those guys were there for me, and I'll never forget that. And Morgan & Morgan are unbelievable what they do. They're sharp, they're smart, they're professional. They'll do what's right for you. I'm Chandler Parsons, and I chose Morgan & Morgan.
on October 29th, you all were able to witness history in the making. And I thank you all for being here. We really do appreciate you. And I know that you really, really needed to experience such an experience. But now I want you all to join me, each and every one of you, join me in celebrating me as your OVW queen. I'm the queen of OVW because I'm your champion. I'm your champion. I'm your champion. Down to two. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, guys, it's like chess. Okay, some of the pawns are gonna have to get sacrificed. And believe it or not, I'll ask for a refund. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's only two of you guys here left. You know what I'm saying? Of course there's only two left. I told you you could give me that one and we'd split up, we'd be just fine right now. Where have you been hiding? I've what? been right here with you, Jesse. No, you have not. Yeah, I was you right was, here. You were supposed to be at the front. Yeah, I was in the front and just told me guns. And then you're supposed to be in the back. Um, <laughs> uh, bodyguard number two, um, you wanna handle that? Bodyguard number two? Don't worry guys, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't think it's, it's fine. No one asked you, Adam. See, told you, it's fine. Bodyguard number three, go check that out. Go, go check that out. Go check it out. Yeah. What there's you nothing. Guys? What do you mean there's nothing? There, there's nothing, there's nobody. The room's empty. What? Oh, oh this is just working out great. What are, you, what are you getting paid for? What do you mean there's nothing? Do your job. Do your job. Do your job. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Huh. Like free refills. We get it. <laughs> That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan and Morgan for the people.com. It's free! Oh yeah, wow, this is great. Just another holiday here at OVW, ain't it, Adam? Huh? Who do you work for? Who are you working with? Are you not on my side? I'm the face that runs the place. I'm the reason why these bills get paid. This you isn't my fault. That? I have Al Snow on speed dial. Do I'm you understand? I'm getting the body the bodyguard agency. We're gonna get more people here. You can never get a son signal. of a oh. 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 Okay, so again, uh, Tony Gunn in hot pursuit of Jesse Goddard's and now eliminated all his bodyguards and Adam Revolver? There's nobody left. Jesse Goddard's running with his tail tucked between his legs. And what was that in Tony's end? Was that a cattle prod? It looked like a cattle prod to me, and that can't feel too good. I can't imagine. Turnabout's fair play, guys. Last week it was a taser. This is a cattle prod. He literally upped the game, so best of luck, Mr. Pectacular Jesse Goddard's. But guys, we got so much more action tonight. We got so much more coming up in November. On Tuesday, November 22nd, it's the return of Thanksgiving Thunder. You Thanksgiving Thunder, one of OVW's signature events. It won't be Tuesday night at the Gardens. It'll be Tuesday night, November the 22nd, at the Davis Arena, and I cannot wait. Exactly. Dan Owens is proud to present Thanksgiving Thunder, November 22nd. Tickets are on sale now at ovwrestling.com. But, guys, before we get to November 22nd, before we get to Thanksgiving Thunder, we got more action to get to, and there's only one man that can get us there. So, Eric, my man, tell him who's fighting. I'll do it, Brian. Your following contest is
There's a women's match scheduled for one fall in a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from the Bronx, La Princesa Tiffany Nieves. La Princesa Tiffany Nieves making her way back to Davis Arena after a few much needed weeks off at her last battle with Chalance Royale. And guys, La Princesa, one of the top competitors here in OVW today. Tiffany Nieves looking to reestablish herself within the women's division here tonight. You gotta wonder, with these few weeks up. Oh, well, you gotta wonder a lot. I'm leaving. And her opponent representing the Fallen. She is the daughter of a thousand maniacs, Shauna Reed. Company by ZDB. Now, guys, no rest for the weekend. We saw Luscious Morris defeat all the fallen in Sarah Amon to evoke the psychiatric facility where he's still being held, but you see Sean Reed, you see ZDB, that dark hole, that influence of Amon still existing. Uh, the Detroit Devil out here along with Sean Reed. Ah, it's just the way that her body moves the joints. It's just, it's, it's so unnerving. There's something seriously wrong with all of these people in the Fallen. Sean Reed was the daughter of a thousand maniacs before he entered in the Fallen, and now this, this darkness has not just overtaken her, it has become her. Biologically or through uh, marriage? The thousand maniac. What, what is. I'm curious. I don't want, I don't want to ask. Tiffany Nieves now not backing down from Sean Reed, but Sean Reed, look at that, grasping that throat. Her fingers clasp around the throat of Nieves. Fuck. Uh, trying to choke the life out of Tiffany Nieves. It looks like Amon still might have his grasp. And Steve, you're right. That's what we said at the beginning. Amon's hold, his influence still very much on ZDP and Shauna Reed, despite him being in a local psychiatric, psychiatric ward. But Tiffany Nieves in for one hell of a fight. And I mean, they're quite literally in there against Shauna Reed. Ooh. You know, Tiffany Nieves, she needs to, to be a little bit concerned right now. Because when you see one member of the Fallen, you see more, and there you go. ZDP jumping up on the apron. ZDP, you're seeing it becoming aggressive, almost foaming at the mouth, and Sean Reed just sitting up, just almost ignoring the punishment she's endured so far. Oh, oh. the handful of hair just, just yanking Tiffany Nieves down to the canvas. Tiffany Nieves might have bit off a little more than she could chew here. Sean Reed, that dark, no, oh, devious stare turns into a diving sling blade there. And Josh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is much like your prom date, yes? Uh, yeah, it's still, it's, it's, it's scary, man. It's old wounds, I don't want to reopen, but that's beside the fact. The fact is, Shauna Reed now completely in control over Tiffany Nieves. Yes. Tiffany Nieves lifted up on her shoulders with ease there. And just that demon-like strength, that otherworldly-like power that Shauna Reed possesses due to her, oh, and there again, that grip on the throat of Nieves. Well, you gotta think, whatever that power, whatever that control that Amon has, if it extends this far, how deep does it go? Well, the thing is, John, oh! Beautiful maneuver there by Nieves, taking Sean Reed off her feet. Big leg lariat doing what she can Insane. to knock the <laughs> demon down. La Princesa on fire, Speaking but again, ZDP up on the apron. Steven Nieves telling ZDP to get in. Just that feral animal, ZDP, up on the apron. Just the evil little gremlin of the fall, and look, Nieves is not backing down from ZDP. Referee trying to get ZDP to well, stay down, but I don't think Tiffany sees. Oh, oh missed! That the fisc, mist! That viscous fluid into the face of Tiffany Nieves, and she's, she's screaming, she's Tiffany, in pain. She may be blinded, ladies and gentlemen. Tiffany Nieves is in serious trouble. Whatever that viscous fluid was is burning the skin of Tiffany Nieves. She can't even, she can't see, she can't compete. Nieves just writhing in pain on the canvas. Referee trying to protect Nieves here, but Shauna Reed want to continue this punishment. Look at the feet on the hair. Whatever that was, she just spit into her eyes. It, it... Nieves needs help, guys. <laughs> the Fallen, Amon might be gone for right now, but the Fallen may be more dangerous than ever. Not serving a master, protecting what remains.
When pain or an injury is keeping you from the game of life, we want to help you get back to your golf game, your yoga game, to the backyard games, the home games, back to the fun and games. Pro Rehab Physical Therapy, official physical therapy provider of Bellarmine Athletics and the trusted choice for keeping you in the game. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Apply now for our upcoming semester in the first quarter of 2022. Visit ovwacademy.com and apply now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with TV time remaining. Introducing first from Thunder Island, Mr. Juicy Luscious Lawrence. Ladies and gentlemen, remove your hats. It is the interest of the king of the house of Juice, Luscious Lawrence, in this main event, which pits two titans against each other. Two of the biggest stars we have here at OBW in Omar Mir versus Luscious Lawrence. Well, and you gotta think Mr. Juicy riding high after his victory this past Saturday night at No Rest for the Wicked over Amon. A matchup for the ages here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. A main event anywhere in the world, but we've got it for you here. And his opponent hailing from Nassau in the Bahamas. Omar Amir! Omar Amir, a two-time OVW heavyweight champion. Luscious Lawrence, a man who, ch who chomps at the juicy bit to get to the top of the round to become the OVW heavyweight champion. And guys, you gotta think this main event will go a long way in determining who might be the next number one contender. Of course, at the end of No Rest for the Wicked Josh, we saw Mahabali Shira come out and throw his Indian size, or his lion size hat in the ring. Oh, you're absolutely right. You know, the Cash is gonna have a lot of people gunning for him. He's got a target on his back as both the OVW heavyweight and national heavyweight champion. Show of respect there between these two competitors. This is bound to be a hell of a match. And guys, that's where this is not a personal matchup. This is all about professionalism. This is all about proving who is the best. This is all about advancing yourself. Uh, no, it starts out that way. Let's see how it ends up. Yeah, Omar right. Amir and Luscious Lawrence both now jockeying for position. I mean, main event time, Josh, you know just about as well as anybody. Main event time, tensions are high. It can make you do things out of characteristic to get that big win. Well, when you're in the main event of the show, you know that it's all riding on you, and this is going to be something. Oh, hang on here. Thought we were just going to go for an O'Connor roll. You know that it's a position to be in where you are the standard. A little bit of grinding there. Luscious Lawrence trying to grind his way up the ladder, but also grinding a little bit of Omar Amir, a little bit of mind games from the King of Juice. Back to the drawing board, back to square one. Collar and elbow tie up, and then a headlock here by Omar Mir. You guys, there might be a little bit of those flamboyant head games that might give Luscious Lawrence the advantage here, because you got to think pound for pound equal as far as strength is concerned. Both these guys, so ex oh, explosive. Well, getting into your opponent's head is 50% of the game, Brian. If you can get into their head, oh, you oh. can make them make mistakes. <laughs> Omar Mir, though. Not looking phased, Josh. No, no, not even remotely. Luscious is enjoying this. Now, this is not part of the match. Oh, well, maybe not that one. So, oh, yep, nope. Again, showing he can still twerk with the best of them. Omar Mir says enough with the fanny shenanigans right back on the attack. Oh, my God. Drop kick right to the mouth. Oh, the twerking has come to an end. Huge kick by L Omar Mir. It almost looked like Luscious was going to try to go for a cross body, and Omar cut him off the pass of that drop kick. The drop kick so powerful. I think I saw a couple of leopard spots pop off of Luscious Lawrence. But look at look the, the power. Oh. Omar Mir able to hold up that big body of Luscious Lawrence. But hold on. Luscious, the powerhouse himself, manages to re reverse. Oh, and again, showing some strength of his own. Luscious Lawrence just holding Omar up there all night. Then, now he's got Omar up. The king of juice holding him up high and then down to the ground. Got him up, then got him down. Brought him down hard. Oh, hold on. What? The hell? What are Shauna Reed and CDP doing back out here? <laughs> the hell, the fallen. 
They're here in this main event. Of course, they're not scheduled to be out here. A one on one matchup. I mean, you gotta think they're probably so upset and sore, literally and figuratively, about losing to Luscious Lawrence last Saturday and losing their leader. Luscious Lawrence, oh! Hold on, hold on. We got oh. some stirring over here. Yo, 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 right. yo, uh uh. Okay. Where the hell did Rev and Damone come from? I don't. Omar and Luscious Lawrence don't see him though. You gotta turn around, fellas. Hell awaits you from behind. The Fallen in the ring now just stalking Luscious and Omar. Omar and Luscious still not aware of the Rev and Damone. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God! They missed it, both men! Both men missed it and dropped to the mat. And again, you see Omar, it was, I think it's burning their face, that viscous fluid. Uh, Shauna Reed getting in on the action, doing what she can to maim, scratch, claw, destroy Omar Amir and Luscious Lawrence. Because Amon might be locked away oh. in a local psychiatric facility, but the Fallen look more vicious and fearful than ever. All hell has broken loose He's here. He's him. He's bite the man's leg. Guys, before, the Fallen fought for something, or for someone, I should say, but now they're not fighting for anything but survival. They have nothing to lose, and I think the Fallen may be more dangerous than ever. Referees get, trying to get a little bit of control here. The Fallen scattering like cockroaches. The Fallen just making short work of two of the top stars OVW has ever seen. Okay, all right, all right. Luscious well, Lawrence, Omar Mir getting moved out of the ring here. Gonna, oh, Tony Gunn and Goddard, where the hell did they get out here? What is, what is going on? Look at the cattle prod the Gun's got. Gun's got that cattle prod. Goddard's tried using that watch, got, offering it. Gold the, watch, is he money. Trying to, Pay him off? Everything he can to get out of it, but it looks like he's trapped. Well, Goddard's has seen his, his plan and his security detail completely fall apart here tonight. Now Gunn has Goddard's exactly where he wants him after weeks. I mean, he got think he tasered Tony last week over and over and over. It's Ag electrocuted the man. Again and again, and now look at this. The anger in the face of Tony Gunn. Imagine the voltage that's gonna run through the body of Jesse Goddard Gunn when Gunn gets his hands on him. Gunn looking for a pound of flesh here. Is he, Hold on. Oh, did oh, Jesse? Oh. Oh, oh my. Oh no. Oh. Did Jesse oh just? God. Are you kidding me? Mr. No. P-tacular. Oh. On live oh. TV oh, nonetheless. There's a puddle in the ring. That's disgusting. That's embarrassing. Oh, you can see it through the back. Oh, oh it's oh, everywhere. It's dripping. God. Guys, I think oh. Mr. Pectacular just became Mr. P-tacular. Oh, security oh, back out. He's rolling in it. His security deal's out here, but guys, I think the deal was already gone. Goddard's ruined his pants. Well, Tony Gunn now just throwing hands at anything that moves. Gunn taking out the security detail for a second time tonight. And Adam Revolver manages to pull his employer. Jesse Goddard's out of the ring. Well, I hope Adam washes his hands after pulling Goddard's out. What a humiliating display for Goddard's. Oh, we're gonna have to say it. Does it ring? Oh! Oh, security just got cattle prodded. Well, he's he about the size of a cattle, but he went down quick. Guys, that's meant to bring out down something three times the size of a human. And Gunn just using on that security detail and staring a hole through Goddard's. You see Adam Revolver trying to cover it up, but you can't cover that up, Jesse. Well, I can't believe that. Well, Jesse Goddard's... Whoa, 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 Gunn's got that cattle prod. Making his way back towards the ramp. We'll see if Brian Kinnison... Bri Brian, see if you can... See if you can get Tony to stand still for just a hot second. Brian, you're a braver man than I. Brian Kinnison in the ring now. Tony. Tony, Tony, okay, hold on, hold on. Tony. Tony. Okay, okay, Tony, come on. Calm, calm the hell down here, man, come on. Let's not do anything ridiculous. Let's not do anything irrational. We're friends, all right? What the hell are you thinking, though? You're trying to you're trying to cattle prod Jesse Goddard's? I'm trying to do what? Cattle prod Jesse Goddard's. What did Jesse Goddard's do to shotgun Tony Gunn last week? Who wants to see Jesse Goddard's get electrocuted?
see you next week. <laughs>